Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 58170. This is a door jam reinforcer. This is what the package looks like when it comes to you. I have one removed from the package so we can get a closer look at it. First of all, in essence, what this is is a thick piece of aluminum. Okay. Let's go over the dimensional properties of this before we move on to the other components that are in the package. And then the, we're going to go over the item itself dimensionally, we'll go over the rest of the components, and we're going to talk about the templates in the installation that are included. First of all, the thickness of the material is it's 0.125. That makes it an eighth of an inch thick aluminum. So it, the aluminum thickness is eighth of an inch. You can see there that it's fairly substantial and yet light. The entire package with its screws weighs just over a pound. Now the width of the plate, three inch. The overall length of the plate, two foot, 24 inch. Has screws st strategically placed, as you can see, for attaching. and is a item installed by a lot of folks, especially after uh, they may have had a break-in. Garage doors, uh, residential entry doors, maybe a, maybe a uh, rear basement sort of door, doors that people don't have a line of sight on, doors that would uh, be um, concealed and difficult uh, to view somebody trying to break in. And people that have installed this material uh, behind the jam, okay, uh, against the stud, where everything, so against the stud behind the wood frame generally is where you're going to see this sandwich. Between the stud and, and, and the wood frame itself is where you're going to see this sort of material. Uh, other ways people have installed this strategically underneath. Uh, we've built frames for people that have an applied stop and we've routed the back of the stop an eighth of an inch to fit this in, okay? Three inch, let's say if you had a four and, you know, you'd need a four and 15 sixteenths jam or so, whatever the case might be, uh, etc. Getting this material installed behind the frame with a, especially with a lock bolt going into it, and you can see that there's a punch there for a lock bolt gives the would-be attacker a significantly greater obstacle to kicking it in. The door frame reinforcer, we could bend fairly easily this way, but there is no way in the world to bend it when it's like this. And that's the face that is presented to the door operator. Okay, The templates we're going to show where you would traditionally install this, where the lock would be, we're also going to show it installed on the hinge side, which is really neat as well. And when you get this installed, it's usually, what I mean to say is it's usually the frame that's going to give away first, give away first, especially a residential frame. That'll break like that. Uh, the deadbolt rarely breaks. Uh, when you add this to the frame, the frame is significantly stronger, and the weak point, in my experience, becomes the edge of the door. Okay. So this, pound for pound, is literally the best sort of insurance that you can make if you expect some sort of uh, shenanigans. Now I have sold this also to condo developers who have uh, installed this in their entry frames. Because what happens is during the day, the thieves know everyone's at work and they get into the condo building one way or another. And they pretty easily force their way into a, into a space and it, they're generally unobserved. Um, in and out and it's quick. This really uh, assists in keeping the frame intact and resistant to attack. Um, so the summary of this is it's, it's a, a mill finish aluminum. It's a concealed item. You would never see it. Heavy duty theft deterrent system. That it certainly is. To be installed with grade 2 deadbolts, meaning just a standard run-of-the-mill sort of middle-of-the-road heavy-duty residential or light 
cup uh, or light duty commercial is a grade two. A typical, uh, they're not all grade two deadbolts that you'll have in a residential application. Some will be grade three, uh, but with used, used with a grade two deadbolt, middle of the road deadbolt um, is what this is tested and rated for. Certainly strengthens the frame, we went over that, okay. Concealed interior door trim, yeah, your frame is going to be over this. You will not see it. It's fairly universal uh, and furnished with strike plate and screws, or strike plate screws. Uh, now, the other package that you're going to get is you're going to get this strike plate. Okay, I've got that cut open. There is a strike. For a typical deadbolt, we're going to go over that more in a moment. You're going to get some seriously long uh, bugle head, what is in essence a drywall screw that looks like it's about four inch long. It's three and a half. And you're going to get some machine screws, and we'll go over what those are used for in a moment. You're going to get six machine screws, four long, uh, what are in essence drywall screws. Now, you're going to get a lot of paperwork with this. You're going to get two sets of installation instructions. One is for the lock side installation, the other is for the hinge side. You're then going to get a full size template. Okay. Now, let's start with the typical installation. This link to the installation instructions are below this video, so you'll probably want to review that uh, at this time. What you're going to see here is the deadbolt sort of installation. Okay. What they're saying is tools required, an electric drill, obviously, an eighth of an inch and an 11 64th drill bit, a utility knife, a hammer, and a screwdriver. There is below that a key to what describes and defines the various parts right here. Your three and a half inch screws, your thread cutting screws, which are those machine screws that I had mentioned earlier. They're thread cutting and we'll go over that, uh, well, right now. You can see at the end there, you really can't. You can see here at the end, uh, hopefully, where those screws, the threads, don't really start as heavy at the very tip that allows the tip of that screw to get into the hole okay, and create the threads as you're installing it, like a self-tapping uh, sort of screw, thread cutting screw. C, strike plate deadbolt. Doesn't make any sense because these are numbered. See, strike plate deadbolt, it's on the other side. Uh, your door latch is part D, and that item is uh, provided uh, by you, actually. It's not included in this. And then uh, countersunk screws, it just points out how they're defining what the holes are in the various parts. Okay. So, moving on with the installation. Step one, remove the inside casing from the door frame. So you're gonna pull that trim off. Remove nails, screws, staples, debris from the space between the door jam and the door frame. So what they're really saying is the studs, the jam that's behind there, uh, between that and the inside face of the, of the uh, uh, wood, typically a wood door frame. Remove any weather stripping or insulation that might be in there. Uh, do not disturb any wiring that might be present. You certainly might have an electric strike that you might have to contend with, I suppose. It would be unusual. Maybe an uh, intercom panel. What they're saying is if you see any wires, avoid them. Install any door edge reinforcements. This will ensure proper alignment. So step five in installation instructions. If you are in addition to this plate, installing a door reinforcer or a wraparound plate, now is the time to do so. You want to get the door all situated before you continue with the uh, with the frame installation. Okay, proceeding to review 
this section on the installation instructions called figure one, which is up here, what they're saying is place the template on the door jam. Okay. Hold even with door frame edge. So what they're saying is that this edge here where the arrows are intended is the inside face, assuming that the door swings in, of where the template needs to be aligned to, to the edge of the frame. Okay. And as you're doing that, you have to obviously align the template vertically with where this hole is going to be centered in your existing deadbolt prep. Okay. which is 6B, position deadbolt outline to the deadbolt cutout in the jam. Step seven, drill seven 11 64ths holes per the template. Drill four 11 64ths holes per the template. That is going to be where they're indicating three and a half inch hole, two, one, two, three, and then four. You're going to drill those holes right through your template. Remove the paper template. Remove the existing strike plate for the deadbolt. Slide the jam brace behind the door jam. So at this point, you've got four, you've, you've got four holes drilled and marked. They're, they're in the proper location. You're going to slide this in behind the frame. You're going to align this, obviously, on your deadbolt. You're going to align your four holes with where those holes are pre-drilled. Align the top hole of the jam brace with the top drilled hole and install a three and a half inch screw to hold the jam brace in place, but don't tighten it at this time. And the very last step in that uh, procedure in figure one is to place shims just above and below the deadbolt prep. So you're going to want to shim with some typical wood wedge shaped shims the jam reinforcing plate behind there, okay, just so that it doesn't move. You want it kept exactly in place. Now, moving on to step two in this process, or figure two, which is up here, okay. Okay, now we're going to continue on with figure two of the installation instructions, which say place the six hole strike plate in the strike plate mortise. So they're making a reference to this piece of aluminum. Now, what they're saying is to locate this inside of your preparation uh, for your strike plate. Well, if it's a deadbolt, uh, and they're obviously uh, thinking that it's not, that it's really a two and a quarter inch tall full lip strike. If this is a deadbolt that you're doing, you might have a problem. Uh, because the width of this, you know, is inch and a seven sixteenths. It's two and a quarter. So what they're really intending that you're going to be doing is installing this into that full lip section. So you, you've got the strike removed and they want you to locate this inside of that preparation. Now the bottom line is this, it's not called out in the installation instructions but you are at the end going to be asked to put the strike plate, your existing one, back over this. So you're going to have to accommodate this into the frame and do so in such a way that your existing strike plate will still fit flush with the frame and have this underneath it. So figure two, step 13, is place the six hole strike plate in the strike plate mortise, making sure that it fits. Drill. 11 64ths pilot holes in the four countersunk holes. You're going to drill that through the frame and into your aluminum door reinforcer, frame reinforcer that's behind the jam. Install the four inch and a quarter long thread cutting screws. So you've got a hole through the frame. You've got this coming down. It's going to be like that. You're going to have holes drilled in this already. And you're going to carefully get these screws through those countersunk, these thread cutting screws, all the way through there. 
and this is the type of screw that's going to thread the hole as you're going through this aluminum and you're going to do that in all four locations one two three four where you have the countersinks now you've got four holes one two three four you've only got a hole up in the top one place shims behind the other holes and install the screws behind there and they want you to have the shims behind the frame because it will keep the screw from drawing the frame against the studs as you tighten it down so you've got to keep it spaced there so as not to crush the frame in once you've got that done remove the top screw place a shim there reinstall the top screw okay at that point you're going to leave the shims in place but you're going to trim off any excess material hanging off you want them behind the frame as spacers we've moved to figure three right now by the way place the existing door latch strike plate in the latch strike mortise drill two 11 64ths pilot holes in the screw holes that's in figure three it's going to be here pardon me it's going to be these holes here and then you're going to have two more thread cutting screws so in step uh, uh, figure three you're going to place the existing door latch strike plate in the latch strike plate mortise you'll have two screws on that you're going to drill your 11 64th pilot holes through that through here and then into the plate behind and then you're going to attach and use the last two of the six thread cutting screws okay then you're done well reinstall any weather stripping and the door casing that you re you have removed um, install the existing deadbolt strike plate over the six hole strike plate using the original screw sure so yeah you'll have that installed you won't see this you'll have your plate okay so you're going to follow those steps and following those steps will get you with the proper uh, sort of inst installation now there is pages three and four of the template or the installation instructions steps to sh uh, install this on the hinge side and really the crucial part of the hinge sort of mount you'll see there in your situation that really all they're doing is everything is the same except that you're going to locate this behind a hinge you're still going to install it with the four screws normally okay uh, you will once you get that placed behind there you will remove a hinge from the frame in terms of the screws you're going to drill the 11 64th pilot hole through that existing hole into and through the frame reinforcer then on your hinge you're going to run those same thread cutting screws so that you're binding you're attaching the hi the hinge leaf through the wood frame and securing it mechanically to the reinforcement that's behind the jam between the jam and the studs um, now and, and that's your installation same routine with the shims placing them strategically getting the holes drilled as necessary other than that there's no difference uh, whatsoever that's happening uh, there are two additional screws here uh, holes here and here that are not called out in the installation instructions I can't tell you why they're there because I don't know uh, is the answer furthermore um, you know they're not they're drawn on the template but they're not called attention to I would simply use those if you wanted to as a way to further uh, increase the, the connection between the frame and the door reinforcer I'm tempted not to do it you've already got plenty of screws going through the frame and these holes are certainly much closer to the outside so I'd, I'd be tempted not to do that um, not drill these holes because they're gonna be so close to the exterior of the frame now what people like to do is buy these and install them prior to installing the frame obviously these instructions are based on a retrofit 
a remodel sort of condition. However, people that have gone in and done this work, either new or retrofit, attest to the improved security of a door uh, after having added them. The fact of the matter is locks keep honest people honest is the old saying and these door reinforcers are part and parcel of that sort of scenario. I've installed these. Uh, it's been years but I've installed them several times. I have found them to be what the client wants. It's not a terribly uh, involved sort of residential procedure if you're a locksmith. Uh, the casing is more the work that you have to deal with. The, the, there will be shims behind the existing frame to the studs that you'll have to contend with um, and work through and around, but that's part of the thing, uh, part of the process. If you have any questions on the Ultra Hardware 58170 Jam Brace Reinforcer or any other Ultra Hardware product who is a comprehensive importer of many things builder, builders hardware related, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.